Welcome to the course talk for interaction design, or as it will be known very shortly, digital design. Uh, we're currently in the process of changing the name, but for the purposes of this, I will mostly be referring to it as interaction design as it currently stands. Uh, my name's Daniel Philpott and I'm the course director. And I just want to take you through a little bit about the course today and a lot of the sort of employability prospects and the sort of expectations you might have if you were to join us on the course. Um, so what I'm going to be covering today is just why you should study interaction or digital design at Ulster, what you're going to learn, how you might be taught and how we'll support you. You can hear a little bit about what our students think and the future careers that you might be able to um, sort of undertake as a result of studying with us. But first, I just want to kind of ask the question, you know, what is interaction design? Because we sort of find that a lot of our students um, maybe aren't aware of what we do uh, at the time of applying, or you might sort of be wondering what it is as a course. But the way we describe it is if you've used a website or a phone app or a piece of software or some social media or any other digital interface, so your phone, for example, a computer screen, an iPad, um, even your TV, anything at all, then you've benefited from the work of an interaction designer. And that's pretty much all of us. So everybody, if you're watching this, you are also sort of benefiting from the work of the type of work that our students do. So if you have an interest in digital or graphic design and you want to be an innovator in a fast changing world, then this is definitely the course for you. And we like to say that it's your chance to design the future because a lot of the types of things that our students will be working on maybe don't exist yet. You know, we're working on sort of cutting edge technology and designing for devices that are sort of just either have just been kind of brought out or may not exist at the moment and are sort of will be in the, in the future. Uh, and those need designed for. So those need people to kind of be thinking about what their capabilities are, how they might benefit people in the future and be designing sort of um, accordingly. And that means that you have careers that are available in the likes of web design or app design, digital product design, connected devices, so that's just anything that connects to the internet, user experience or UX design, user interface or UI design, augmented reality or mixed reality, so very sort of current at the moment, um, and we have some students who are working very closely on sort of virtual reality and mixed reality projects. You could be a graphic designer, content designer, a UX researcher, or just a digital designer as well. So lots and lots and lots of career opportunities um, and very hard to kind of pinpoint exactly which one our students would want to be. Hence the new reason for our name change. So digital design is a bit more all encompassing, but we find that our students can sort of go into careers in a lot of different areas. Our industry is increasing all the time. So there's a 289% increase in interest in UX roles uh, in 2020, according to Hired.com. So pretty much trebling since 2020. And it's a very, very, it's definitely a growing industry. So demand for UX and UI designer outweighs the number of applicants. And that means that you are very, very highly likely to get a job uh, in these fields because the industry is growing faster than we're able to sort of train up designers to work within it. We also find that UX designers and digital designers, they love their job. So it's all about solving world, real world problems um, using research, design, technology and psychology as well, just how people think. And you're always working on different types of projects and you could always be going into a different type of working in-house for a different industry, whether it's financial technology or the healthcare sector or anything at all, really. Um, you can kind of go wherever your interests take you. And, but all the while you're sort of the core of it is just solving problems. So if you have an interest in problem solving, then you're going to be very rewarded in the type of work that we do. And alongside that, you get very, very well paid. So the average salary for UX and UI design in the UK is 42,000 to 75,000 plus per year. We find that our graduates are sort of 
going into the industry at around about 30,000 a year, perhaps, you know, it's 25 to 30,000 is the starting salary, basically, um, or what we are seeing um, from our recent graduates. And these are some of the companies that we have graduates working in or have taken graduates from us before or are working on placement in these firms. And um, this is just a snapshot of some of them. And um, we're always looking for um, other industry connections and industry partners. But, um, you know, the likes of the BBC, we have a graduate there from last year. Did Deloitte Digital will take from our course. Um, we have a placement student starting in Disney in September. Um, and we have a graduate who is working in IDEO, who are one of the top firms in the world for the type of work that we do. Um, and a lot of our these companies will take sort of regularly take placement students, um, which is a, a sort of voluntary year working in the middle of your course. Um, and so we have very good industry connections. So why you would want to study at Ulster? Um, First and foremost, personalized teaching support. So this includes a lot of one-to-one -one mentoring, um, a lot of kind of uh, individual tutorials and smaller seminar groups, um, career sessions that are built into our timetable um, and built into our curriculum and a personal supervisor for your dissertations and major projects in final year. So you're always getting that kind of one-to-one -one contact and you're never sort of left to, to your own devices to kind of just work uh, sort of on projects without uh, some guidance or some feedback when you need it. We also have um, a very good studio where you will be, you have access to a lot of um, different resources, including a very a course specific library. So we have a range of books and journals that we keep within the studio itself. Uh, we have a device lab that includes VR headsets. Uh, we have Ma Apple Macs and external monitors. So if you want to plug your laptop into uh, external screens for working when you're in the studio, we have those peripherals available as well. Um, we also have casual areas and quiet study areas and a presentation space all within the studio um, and a boardroom that we like to call it for hosting smaller seminar groups and just be able, basically being able to kind of sit around a table and discuss project work. We also have very close industry links um, so for that for placements and internships as well as sponsored prizes. So our close connections to the global industry leaders means that we have a high number of paid placements for our students every year. In fact, we're the highest in the Belfast School of Art for last year for the number of placement students. And our students are regularly winners of prizes um, or sort of winners of the programs from high profile organizations such as Catalyst. Um, and the Institute of Designers in Ireland. Last year, we, in one of the categories, half of the winners were our students. Uh, Deloitte Digital will sponsor a prize for our graduates, and we have a lot of graduates working or getting recognized by the likes of Digital DNA, as well as many more. And so what you'll learn is the course is going to equip you with the skills you need to meet the challenges of a dynamic and rapidly changing industry. Uh, which does offer many exciting career opportunities, as you saw from the list of different uh, pathways and different job roles. There's a lot of different directions that you might go in with your career. Uh, and that industry is changing all the time. So it's we equip you with the skills to meet that sort of the challenge of that change and to just mean that you have the ability to sort of work within that industry, no matter what way it might um, adjust, you know, change in the future. And what you'll learn is a solid understanding of design fundamentals. So that's going to include visual literacy. So working with kind of graphic design and how we communicate visually. Design psychology, typography, working with typefaces, brand and visual identity, user interface or UI design and user experience design. And we have teach very highly sought after skills, including design thinking, research, idea generation and problem solving while responding to users and their needs through UX led design projects. So that basically means just always keeping people at the center of our design projects. We're designing for people at the end of the day to help the people. And that's going to involve a lot of problem solving. So those are the kind of key areas that our employers are looking for. And it's baked into every aspect of our course. Also the ability to undertake a design project from research and idea generation through to the finished prototype. 
and exploring the possibilities of new devices and emerging technology. So that would include the likes of these sort of virtual reality headsets and, and anything that basically um, you know, is being dreamt up as, as we design for it. Um, that might be wearable technology, it might be phone apps, it might be virtual reality, it might be for television screens, it might even be for smart speakers or things that don't have a visual interface. They need design for as well. And then in year one, in your first year in the course, you'll learn the fundamentals of design and visual communication. And using these skills, you'll get your first ex experience of designing an app and working with data and exploring branding and visual identity. So there's a module that is very much dedicated to designing a brand and a visual identity and applying that to a digital product. And in year two, then we focus on designing with content narratives and looking at user experiences more specifically and you'll also explore what it's like to work in a professional environment to prepare you for that paid work work placement um, and getting a job and beyond that so we have a lot of employability and careers and sort of recruitment skills that are, are sort of worked into the actual curriculum to make sure that everybody is um, sort of knows how to go about doing that and has some prior experience of what it will be like in the workplace before they enter one. And that takes us to the placement year. So at the after year two, there's the option to take a sort of job in the industry and take a work placement year, or you could study abroad. So their university has many, many kind of opportunities to study abroad or go to another country to learn. Um, or you can undertake one of the work placements, which we find are very, very beneficial to our students. Um, so that when they take a work placement, you're getting real work practical experience. It also, we find, helps with your final year project work when you come back to the university. You may also kind of be working part time for that same employer during your final year, or they might offer you a graduate role so that once you graduate, you're secured employment and you can go back to where you sort of worked during your placement year. And that's in the same job roles as UX designers, UX researchers, um, UI designers, visual designers, graphic designers, content designers, um, all those same job roles are available at placement level as well. And those are usually paid as well. So they are, we our salaries usually range somewhere between sixteen thousand at the low end to about twenty two thousand per year for that placement year. And it will also give you a diploma in industrial studies at the end of your degree. And then once you come back into final year. In addition to a dissertation module, so a, a written essay that all students have to, to undertake, um, you choose a topic of your choice uh, to, to study and write a dissertation on. And often that aligns with what you choose to do for your major project. Um, and in final year, we give you the freedom to create a major project of your choosing. So you design a digital product from the idea to a fully realized prototype. Some student graduates also use these to get funding to develop them further or form startup companies and sort of forge their careers off the back of that. So we get a lot of attention from the projects that our students undertake um, and a lot of kind of funding opportunities also brought to their attention so that they can take those further should they wish to. How you'll be taught, um, in a typical week, you'd have about nine hours of class time. So that's, um, we usually timetable that as one full day and then one half day. You will, in each semester, you will be working on two modules. One will be a 40 credit point and one will be a 20 credit point. So the 40 credit point one would be a full day of class and the 20 credit point would be one half day of class. And then the rest of the week should be dedicated to independent study, whatever way you want to kind of divide that up. And in addition to the university's own Blackboard Learn resource, so that's a, a resource where we place digital content and where we would sort of undertake our assessment of your project work where you would submit to, um, and we put our lecture content up onto Blackboard. But we also provide you with access to a community Slack channel, which is just an informal kind of messaging service, which connects you to your current students across all year groups. 
including past students as well as the employers in the industry. So we're very well connected digitally to all of our sort of community of our previous graduates. Everybody kind of keeps in good contact with one another as well as kind of employers in the industry and some of our graduates are now have gone on to become those employers and are coming back to our course to look for for students and for new recruits. We also include group Miro boards, so digital collaboration across different platforms and software. We'll provide digital content and we have library resources both on campus, the main library on the campus, as well as a few sort of books and journals within our own studio. Our projects are mainly practical and they're closely aligned to what the current industry expectations are. So we have an industry advisory panel where we check that our projects are very much kind of aligned to what the industry needs. So a lot of our projects will change from year to year to keep them current. And they are usually coursework based with a split between a body of design work, which will be equate to about 60% of your assessment and a research blog, which is 40%. And our studio, as I mentioned, it has quiet study areas to work in. Um, even when classes are going on, there are designated areas for quiet study and to come in and work independently. We have computers available um, and devices for student use. We have a library of books and journals. We have presentation spaces, casual areas with a fridge, kettle, coffee machine, microwave, um, as well as a little boardroom area for group discussions. And how we would support you then would be, as I mentioned before, through one-to-one -one mentoring. So we're very, very, um, it's, it's integral that we sort of get one-to-one -one sort of contact with students to make sure that we're guiding their projects and that they get a chance to sort of talk in great detail about the work that they're doing because everybody's kind of creative projects are always different. So um, we can't always advise in a group setting. It's mostly sort of one-to-one -one mentoring. Um, we have an open door policy so you can contact us at any time and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We're always on the floor where you know, there could be one or two lecturers in the studio at any given time. Um, and we're always available, uh, especially even through the group Slack channels and through, through email. Um, so we're available to our students when they need us. Um, we have our online resources, which I've mentioned, as well as our library resources. And we also have smaller class sizes, so this would be typical of the art school, but particularly we like to keep our class sizes um, particularly very small so that we can ensure that the, sort of the number of employment, you know, the number of roles and graduate roles are going to be there for the, the class sizes that we have. And that it also means that we are able to sort of get get around all our students essentially um, so that nobody kind of feels that they're being overlooked. Uh, smaller class sizes are just that bit more manageable and you know there's a much more sort of um, much stronger kind of interpersonal connection between the students as well. We have a strong community network which I also mentioned Slack before but uh, we have very close ties to our past students and you know the sort of network that we've built over the number of years that our course has been running. We have strong professional network and we have industry talks where we'll bring people from the industry in to talk to students directly, either in the studio or even just online projected in the studio. Um, so that they're be able to build a kind of professional network or get to know people who may be kind of hiring in the industry um, when they are going for placement or a graduate role. And as I mentioned, career sessions that are built into our degree. So uh, we focus on employability and entrepreneurship in our second year to make sure that everybody has those sorts of skills. There's also a wide range of student support services and practical support from lecturers who have been involved within the industry. So our lecturers have um, real world experience that they can bring into the classroom as well, as well as their own professional networks. And some of our students then, so uh, I have a couple of students here, unfortunately I couldn't, uh, they weren't available to record their own session, but they have provided with some answers to some questions that I've put to them. So um, one of our designers, our past students, Kezi Todd, who is a senior interaction designer at IDEO, which as I mentioned before, is one of the, if not the leading company uh, in the world for 
interaction design or UX design. Um, they're certainly one of the top three. Uh, so why she chose the course, um, she loved the idea of designing, not just static works of art, but products that people would use every single day. She applied just with A-levels and a portfolio of design work created in her spare time. So that's what we would ask for in our um, applicants would be uh, a portfolio. It's usually how we would um, select students. So Kezia just applied with her A-levels and portfolio. What do you enjoy most about the course? Huge amount of freedom in where you take your projects and the skills you wish to develop. Everything's practical, constantly updated. The tutors are there to help whatever you, wherever your interests skews while ensuring a well-rounded foundation and portfolio that can land you a job anywhere. What real world experience did you get? Work completed during the course helped me land a paid first year internship, a year long placement and part-time work plus graduate job before completing her final year. And what support did you get throughout the course and after graduating? Throughout the course, tutors were always on call to help and went above and beyond to ensure we were heading in the right direction. After graduation, the course still maintains an active community across years, sharing advice and job opportunities. And what do you do now and what does the future look like? So I'm a user experience designer working on software used by the likes of Disney and Walmart. The in in international industry is huge and there are many opportunities in the field at home as well as abroad, especially with the rise of remote working. And so Kezi is, um, you know, designing an IDEO. Uh, she shared a quote as well, just about how she has sort of landed that as a dream job that she wouldn't have known about if it hadn't been for sort of happening upon the course and, and studying it. Um, and she wouldn't have known about this career had she not sort of found the course. And how the course prepared her for her current role. Learning a core foundation and experience in product design as well as code helped me step into tech. Even with no experience prior to starting the course, ISD's heavy involvement in the local industry also helps boost exposure and bring opportunities to students. And another of our past students um, from a couple of years ago is Pujith, uh, and he had joined us from India. Um, had found the course and decided to apply and move to Belfast to study it. And so why did Pooja choose the course? I always had a really keen interest in digital design and user experience when I was growing up. When I came across interaction design in Belfast, it seemed like a course tailor made for a young student like me. What route he took to get here was um, board exams in India, which is the equivalent of an A-level here. What did you enjoy most about the course? I most enjoy, mostly enjoyed the freedom and flexible nature of the course. By this I mean students can choose a specialist area within the disciplines taught. Personally was the most interested in user experience research and design. And this is what I based my dissertation and major project on in my final year. I also really liked that the course stays up to date and has excellent local and international industry connections. And what real world experience did he get? Uh, I worked as a UX designer at a local company in Belfast called Fathom. They're one of the top UX design agencies on the island and I was able to work alongside some amazing researchers and, and designers. I worked at Fathom for one year as a full-time placement student and following that I joined them on a part-time basis during my final year. Having this industry experience and support during university was invaluable. What support did you get throughout the course and after graduating? I received support every step of the way, which was very valuable and important to me as I am an international student, whether it was project-based support or anything else. All members of teaching and staff are extremely approachable and understanding. I could not have asked for better guidance. As for after graduation, I received continuous support and help in job finding, applications, and pretty much anything else. What do you do now and what does the future look like? The future is extremely exciting for young and aspiring designers. There are a ton of jobs out there and, and compensations are top notch. Belfast, for example, is already considered to be one of the hubs for design and tech. As for me personally, I'm now moved to Belfast from Chennai on a permanent basis and work as a UI UX designer for a local company called Sugar Rush Creative. And how the course prepared Pujith for his current role. IXD Belfast provided me with all the necessary tools of the trade to be able to become a successful designer within the industry. 
It was a healthy mix between teaching, both theoretical and practical, networking and first-hand industry experience. And Pujith has continued to work in Belfast uh, as he considers it one of the hubs for design and technology out there. And the number of companies coming to our to to Belfast to set up um, means that there's lots and lots of opportunities locally as well um, with global businesses. So real world experience and um, that paid work placement year interaction design has had the highest number of students on placement last year from the Belfast School of Art courses. Um, students who undertake this year are very likely to be invited back for a graduate role or have relevant experience when seeking graduate opportunities. And the experience gained greatly benefits students on their return to university and their final year major projects. And the image there is of a company, a global cybersecurity company called Rapid7, of which 95% roughly um, of their design team is made up by our own graduates. Um, to the point where they're now at capacity uh, and they won't sort of need as many designers going forward. Uh, so what we will be doing is looking for other firms that will be expressing the same sort of interest. So the likes of um, a company called Cinecron and Kianos are all sort of very keen to build out their design teams in a similar way using our graduates. Also with that placement year, you're more likely to achieve a higher final degree classification. So you come back with a certain set of skills that are just going to make final year a little bit easier um, and also just kind of benefit your major project work. And um, they're more likely to be in full time professional employment within six months of graduating, having worked in a placement year. It'll also help you build your professional network and you'll obtain an extra diploma upon graduation. So that diploma in industrial studies. Also with real world experience, we have a lot of industry speakers. So we have weekly lecture programs from industry leaders and global companies such as Deloitte Digital, Synecron, Kianos, Fintry, Catalyst, Big Motive and Google and many more. Um, Signified, um, local company bring fortnightly mentoring and visiting project reviews um, and there are mentorship processions provided by Kianos and Deloitte as well. And recent talks and site visits have included IDEO Pentagram and Frog Design in their offices in London. So we took a group of first year students to, to London to visit um, those firms. There are also industry-led assignments throughout the course. So we've partnered with Belfast Design Week um, and Jameson's Whiskey in the past for a collaborative project alongside graphic design, which culminated in a digital showcase of work. So creating projects that would um, to, to project solutions to an industry brief supplied by Jameson's. Um, there are also projects led by local firms, including Big Motive, and tutorial support from industry professionals on a fortnightly basis. And we have a live brief this year in collaboration with Changemakers in a show and development partnership um, along just essentially to do with our research and um, collaboration with them. And this is some just some images from that uh, London trip. So within the sort of studios of some of the top design companies in the world um, and some of the sort of experiences that the students achieved there. So the workshops with the professionals that work in the, those businesses, seeing the studios um, getting to ask their questions of the professionals in there, what sort of advice they would get for um, applying for jobs in the future. One of our notable graduates as well, um, Emma Corbett, she had applied through Catalyst co-founders, which is a program that we uh, bring a Catalyst in to speak to our final year students um, and encourage them to apply for the co-founders program alongside Invent and Student Invent. So Catalyst run a range of programs that our students um, are very highly sought after for. Um, so Emma last year had applied through co-founders and won it. Um, a prize of £10,000, I think it was, alongside Belfast Telegraph Startup Awards, the Deloitte Digital Design Award winner, um, Belfast Business Idea Award winner. Um, she's since sort of uh, been across the board with Santander's Business Startup Awards, um, Digital DNA, and sort of she's been up for just a 
ton of awards basically using her final year project which is called Insurin, um, which was designed to help with insulin dependency um, using a connected device to administer and administer insulin and track sort of blood sugar levels and manage that within an app as well as sort of educate on sort of recently uh, if you've sort of recently been diagnosed with um, diabetes it would help you sort of come to just it would help you sort of um, get to grips with dealing with kind of insulin levels and dealing with your sort of um, managing that and so she is currently developing this project and has been through a range of different programs and a range of different awards bodies um, and we're very keen to see what when that will sort of be fully developed hopefully in the very near future each year we have a number of shortlists uh, shortlisted students and winners of the Irish Graduate Design Awards um, and this year three of our students um, were shortlisted for their projects hope at the bottom was shortlisted in two different categories and I believe one two of the categories as well so um, we have a range of different awards that all our students regularly um, will become will sort of get noticed for their achievements and for their projects. Laura Campbell last year, her major project, um, she used it as an opportunity to sort of put it in front of a lot of uh, kind of industry connections, people who had come to the final year degree shows to see our student graduate work um, we run an industry night for our graduate for the degree shows at the end of the year where we showcase their work and we invite our industry partners in to have a look um, and talk to the students and she sort of essentially was using that to network and eventually kind of find her way into big motive to work there um, as a graduate and sort of forge that sort of um, kind of connection just through networking um, at that degree show event. So her major project just got noticed and sort of she find her way into the business. And that's her project again on the right. And on the left is uh, Hope McElroy's project, which you saw as the IDI shortlist category uh, a couple of slides back, but her project was to help families deal with um, care for family members who may have dementia or just sort of people that they know family friends who may have dementia so if there's a group of people who would be um say you have a group of people looking after that person that you're able to keep in contact and manage all the sort of care that would go into to dealing with that and communicate with the other members in the group who are providing that care um, and hope is currently going through the Catalyst co-founders program the same as Emma did um, with her final year project and we should that should be um, winners should be announced very shortly for that so we're keeping an eye to see if uh, she is a winner this year and so why you might want to sort of study this we find that a lot of our, as you've just seen, you know, with the likes of Hope's project for dementia care, Emma's for insulin um, administration and monitoring, that it really is about solving problems and helping people. And so you might use your creativity to help people with dyslexia or help people living in poverty or even just to kind of help save the planet and deal with um, sustainable issues that we would encourage our students to look at these real world problems and find ways to kind of design a product or design a digital intervention that would help with those. So a lot of our projects are, are very forward thinking and sort of very focused on the real world and that definitely gets them noticed by employers as well as just providing opportunities to actually take them into the world and develop them and build them themselves. After the course, uh, the undergraduate course, there's also a number of different pathways if you didn't want to sort of immediately either go into employment or if you sort of didn't want to be sort of pursuing uh, sort of entrepreneurship. There is a MA course in user experience and service design run by the same staff that teach on our undergraduate course. 
and that provides another sort of postgraduate pathway. So once you finish on your undergraduate degree, you can move on to the, the MA and even PhD study beyond that. And our students are in very, very high demand. Um, as I mentioned, we have those close industry links that they're always coming to us asking for, um, for students. In the pre previous years, we've had to kind of turn away some employers because all of our students have had had work. Um, Ninety percent of our students get jobs within months of graduating and sometimes that's even within weeks of graduating. So 90 percent um, are employed and oftentimes the other 10 percent isn't really kind of they're just doing different things. They're going on to to further study or sort of doing something different. Um, and that's why they sort of don't get sort of seek employment at that time. So all of the companies that we have connections with are really you know our students are in very high demand for them um, and the skills that we provide them with are obviously very sort of in very high demand as well and that just means the ability to solve complex problems through research design and creativity the ability to project manage and work within a team and increasingly the ability to articulate and communicate your ideas so presentation skills which we again build into our curriculum so that you're getting experience of presenting your work um, in a sort of professional manner and that will really help you whenever you get into into a career and so some of our employers um, some quotes from some of our employers uh, Alan Lavery in Deloitte Digital uh, his quote is the effort level of effort the processes and thinking around the major projects is not only high at student level but high within an industry level the work we saw is not only a credit to the direction IXD has taken but also a testament to the work you Daniel and Kyle do as a team within the course MT McKenna lead product designer at ESO said by choosing interaction design you're investing in your future the skills gained in IXD will be sought after for years to come across every corner of the world. This course produces high quality students who have personally mentored and recruited. The skills obtained are transferable to many careers. So if you're considering this course, take my word for it, you won't regret it. And Rick Munro, Director of UX at Invicti Security, um, who's very sort of notable within the UX design field. He'll sort of run industry talks um, and sort of run lots of events for UX design around Belfast area. Um, he said, I'm consistently impressed by the awareness and appreciation IXD students have for process rather than simply output. The students are keen to learn and respectful of other disciplines, essential qualities for working in any organization. To me, this reflects the culture of the course, which clearly values curiosity and promotes a growth mindset. And so additional costs, equipment and software. Um, we do have iMacs available in the studio for student use and lots of devices that they can use within the device lab. Um, we find that most of our students prefer to purchase a laptop though for the duration of their studies. Um, and because of that, we have external monitors and peripherals available for those in the studio. Um, the industry standard software for interaction design is currently free to use and includes programs such as Figma, which would be the biggest one, uh, Notion, which we use for our blogs, and Miro for group collaboration, and all of those are free. And our most recent national student survey results, we obtained 90% overall student satisfaction, which was the highest in the School of Art and one of the highest in the University of Ulster um, across all the courses. So very, very high result that we're delighted with, um, that our students are particularly happy with the course and the way that we deliver it. And so our prospectus, um, just as an overview of the course, it's a creative, digitally focused, practice-based course. You'll explore graphic design, user experience, and user interface design for current and emerging technologies, create apps, websites, content, experiences, and services to shape the digital world that we all live in. You'll learn a solid understanding of design fundamentals, including visual literacy, design psychology, typography, brand, visual identity, user interface design, user experience design, and highly sought after skills, including design thinking, research, idea generation, and problem solving, while responding to users and their needs through UX-led design projects. 
and the ability to undertake a design project from research and idea generation through to finished prototype, exploring the possibilities of new devices and emerging technology. When it comes to teaching and assessment, the teaching includes lectures, seminars, tutorials, workshops and studio practice. And our assessment might change depending on the module. So coursework may include written work, research, design and prototyping, presentations or group work. And with real world experience, which I touched on earlier, we have access to high profile design professionals via our visiting lecturer program and industry network. You'll build your portfolio and showcase your work through a range of industry led projects, international competitions and business startup opportunities learn in our dynamic studio environment and experience life as an industry professional through your optional pay placement. And again, those career opportunities, UX designer, digital designer, UI designer, web or app designer, an interaction designer, a UX researcher, digital product designer or graphic designer, and the list would go on. So there's a range of different opportunities. Um, those would be the main ones, but there would be any number of different pathways you would like to take. If you would like for further entry requirements and more information, just visit the website at ulster.ac.uk and our UCAS code in the top corner there is 2D13. Just keep an eye out in case that course does change though. Um, I'm not sure of the timeline, but we will either be interaction design or if you can't find interaction design, look for digital design. And if you want to know more about our course a little bit more specifically, um, you could visit our own website at ixdbelfast.com. And why I would sort of point you to that would be to look at the graduates up in the sort of navigation bar there. If you can see sort of uh, five in our graduate showcase. So for the um, final year projects for the last two to three years are all available on our website. And you'll be able to visit, see those prototypes and try and try them out for yourself. So you can click through the prototypes. Um, and get a feel for each of their projects and have a sort of look at the case studies of each of our students um, just to get a feel for all the types of work that they've produced over the years. Just to note, courses are continually reviewed to take advantage of new teaching approaches and developments in research, industry and the professions. Please be aware that modules may change for your year of entry. The exact module, modules available and their order may vary depending on course updates, staff availability, timetabling and student demand. Uh, and please contact the course team for the most up-to-date module list. Um, and as I've mentioned a few times throughout, we may even have a name change in, in that as well. So sometimes that course content may vary um, a little bit. And that's very true of our course because we're always trying to stay up-to-date and we're always sort of looking to industry to make sure that we're staying current. And because it's such a fast-changing industry, we have to make changes as quickly as we can. So a lot of the content may sort of vary from ever so slightly. We are situated on the Belfast campus of Ulster University. So um, it's a brand new campus that they've built um, around us. Uh, they've located within Belfast Cathedral Quarter and a bustling cultural centre of the city. Uh, so the larger new building is adjacent to ours um, and you can access it via a walkway. So the entire campus is open. You'll have modern state of the art facilities and, you know, 15,500 students and staff, staff in that building. And entry requirements published on the website. For further information on equivalencies and questions around specific circumstances, just email admissions at ulster.ac.uk. And if you need more information, visit ulster.ac.uk or email study at ulster.ac.uk. And if you're ready to apply, visit ucast.com.